Hi guys, Mac Rowland here with Fabbot Fabrication Company coming to you with yet another new innovation. Over the past year, our LS to AR5 transmission adapter has become extremely popular. Selling hundreds of kits has given us the opportunity to see some of the pain points that some of our customers have had and make those corrections on what we call our next gen AR5 to LS adapter. Now, one of the biggest complaints we've seen is that you have to modify the 4L60E bell housing. Well, there's two modifications you have to make. First is the bottom one where we interfere with a few bolts. We've taken care of this by providing three extra bolts that'll go into the front bearing retainer that give you the extra clearance you need, along with counterboring one extra hole and giving you a, a, a counterboard uh, Allen bolt. That takes care of that problem. But then the obvious one is the bell housing, the 4060 bell housing is made for an automatic transmission and doesn't have the provisions for the feed and bleed line. Now, most people don't mind making these modifications. These are simple. You use a hole saw, you blast a couple holes in it, it's over, no big deal. It doesn't involve any grinding. But we wanted to take it to the next level. We wanted to make it so that you, the drag racing guys specifically, who want the SFI approved bell housings, can do this without modifying it and wrecking that SFI certification. So to do this, what we did is we added two 5 16 grooves through the adapter plate. And what this allows is for the bleed and feed line to run across the plate under the surface where the bell housing mates up. And when you put the bell housing on top, it provides a very clean access for the, the bleed and feed to exit the adapter plate. We're super excited about these changes and believe this is going to be huge for you guys, especially your drag racers. So for more information, go to www.fabbotfab.com.